Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is September 22nd, 2023, Friday. The theme of today's devotional is In Our Suffering. The scripture is from Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 13. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quiet, unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. Amen. Today's story is from Ellie, who lives in Kentucky. Kentucky. I have a chronic, chronic uh, illness. When my disease is active, I look for anything that will provide me with a little, little relief. Before I had the necessary surgery and got on an appropriate treatment course, I was very sick for about a year and a half. During that time, I tried just about every over-the-count option I could find to ease my suffering and of course, none of it worked. Fortunately, my illness has been in remission for about 10 years now. I cannot imagine suffering for 18 years like the woman in today's scripture reading. She was forced to go through life in pain, unable to stand up straight or to interact freely with people. In biblical times, the woman's disfigurement would have brought not only pain, but also shame and stigma. And yet, Jesus saw her and called her to him. The same is true for us. No matter what our struggles may be, Jesus sees us in our suffering and calls us to come close to him. Our healing our healing may not be instantaneous like it was for the woman in this passage, but we can trust Christ to see us and we will respond to his call to set us free from the problem that troubled our hearts. Amen. Have you sick that much long? When we have cold or small diseases, when we have, when we have in pain, when we are in pain, we really want to get relief from that suffering and pain. Even just running nose from the cold is bothering us in our life. Some headaches, However, Ellie had the, a chronic illness which made her not to do anything and put her in pain for a, a one year and a half. I didn't experience for that uh, experience that kinds of illness. It was hard for me just to endure couple of days because of the severe illness. However, she found that God was with him. Uh, God was with her. And she found God gives her the freedom. Even it is in remission, not, I don't know, maybe it is not fully recovered or not. But still, she loves God and she 
loves her life. And she are thankful and praising God for God's grace and mercy, the healing mercy. The woman who, who Jesus healed, she was in pain in eight, I mean for 18 years. How can how could she endure those days with pain and suffering? How could she endure the times? But Jesus saw her and called her to him and healed her. Church family, I don't know what your situations or I don't know what illness you have continually or right now. I bless you and I pray for you for God's healing mercy in your life. May God's healing be with you so that like the woman you immediately be healed by the Spirit of God. And still not only for the illness, but also the other issues. You are in sufferings and illness. I hope you remember that God is with you, even in the suffering. Jesus is with you, even in the suffering. And when we are in pain, God is also in pain because we are God's loved child and we are in his heart. So when we are sick, when we are in pain, God is also in pain. Like a parent feels sick when their chill child is sick. So let us trust in God. God is not the one who just leave us, leave us when we are sick, when we have trouble. But God is with us in our life forever all the time and he feel God feels what we feel God have the emotions that we have God knows our sufferings and pain and his heart in sorrow because of our situation I hope we trust in God and follow God's will and desire and get strength from that we have the companion in our life journey Jesus Christ God the Holy Spirit who loves us who cares for us all the time these days I also uh, I'm I'm listening the song which the title is trust in God it says, the lyrics is like this. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. He's been my fourth man in the fire, time after time. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. And what he did for me on Calvary is more than enough. I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I know the author of tomorrow has ordered my steps. And this is my story, and this is my song, praising my risen King and Savior all the day long. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. That's what that's why I trust Him. That's why I trust Him. I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Church family and friends, I hope all of us, you and I, trust in God, who is in our suffering, in our sorrow, who is with us in our suffering, and in our sorrow, our situations, and who'd like to encourage us to encourage us 
and strengthen us to get out of the situations. Even God is the one who healed us, who heals us, who takes care of us. Let us trust in God every day, every life. Let us pray. Healing God, may we never fail to praise you for the good works you do in our lives. Thank you for seeing us and for loving us. And no matter what troubles we face, help us draw closer to you every day. Amen. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Sunday at Sunday Worship, 10 o'clock uh, at Little Falls Uni United Methodist Church, 139 Main Street, Little Falls, New Jersey, or on the screen, I mean on the, uh, on online, uh, online, I mean, online worship uh, through YouTube and Facebook. Let us praise God, trusting in God, and let us Worship God together. And I will see you next Tuesday for the Daily Devotional. Have a great day and thank you. Bye-bye.